All right, so no melted runways here, but still pretty darn hot again. Mm -hmm. Nick Marianos joins us now with, uh, with this uh, track we're on. Yeah, you know, it seems like we're just repeating ourselves day mm -hmm. after day with the uh, pattern that we're in with temperatures well up into the triple digits. We will see some changes coming our way, but look at this. I'm going to go back to about last Friday. Uh, these are the observations going back to downtown Sacramento where we had 100 degrees last Saturday. We hit 106. Remember that? But each day, the temperatures have gotten a little bit lower and lower. And today, our high temperature is 101. Uh, so moving forward, we'll continue holding on to the heat. Uh, we're on a string. We're now at five days in a row of triple-digit temperatures. Three and above give us the official heat wave. So we're certainly there. Uh, we've seen so far 19 days this year in Sacramento of 100 degrees uh, or above the average for the entire year. Get this is 23. So we are uh, well above that already and we still have a long, long way to go. We have August, September and October tomorrow. Uh, stay hydrated. We are heading out and about uh, temperatures once again back into the triple digits, perhaps even earlier into the day where it's not as hot yet. Maybe a, a good time to uh, go for that bike ride or uh, whatever your plans are. We will see that breeze developing during the afternoon southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour from the Delta. More refreshing though. We are heading up toward the uh, Sierra, maybe grabbing that hike in for the day. Good amount of sunshine, high pressures in control. We did see those storms east of the Sierra, though, mainly across parts of Nevada. Uh, back to the Pacific Northwest, however, there's an area of low pressure uh, that will be approaching, and that's going to help change our pattern uh, that will maybe break this heat. Uh, in fact, not maybe, it will break the heat for a little bit, not by much. Where temperatures will still be running above average, uh, but it's going to be mainly upper 90s. So we'll take a couple degrees here and there. In fact, your first alert going into the weekend for the valley, temperatures upper 90s near 100. We're at 75 right now in Sacramento. Fairfield sitting at 64 degrees. We will be dipping back down to the 50s and 60s for the valley. The thermal belts there in the foothills will be mainly into lower 70s as we start off the day. But either way, the temperatures are going to be climbing still into the triple digits Wednesday, Thursday. If I will show you the first alert forecast by Friday, Saturday to Sunday is when we will see at least some of that break in the uh, the 100 plus degree days. And then by Monday, Tuesday, I think that will stick around for a little bit. But beyond the seven day forecast, I have to say indications point that we may be returning back to triple digits going back into the middle part of this upcoming week. So uh, that's the forecast for the valley elsewhere, the Bay Area, mainly into the 60s. The marine layer is really going to be playing a role in the forecast here. Foothills holding on to the 90s, lower 90s by the weekend. And then as we go into the Sierra, temperatures mainly into the middle 80s with a good amount of sunshine. So really at this point, before we start seeing that break in the heat, the early morning starting off mainly into the 60s for the valley. So at least uh, we get that break in the first part of the day before those temperatures really warm up, guys. Yeah.